welcome back to the Canny Tally. Um, this is the end of our week two check-in. Um, we're just going to go through quickly what the spends were and restuff the very small amount for the following week. Um, as you'll see, the green here and the purple arrows. So the green is our weekly envelopes and the purple arrows we stuff monthly and roll over each month. So in food, we put 125. We actually only spent £69.60. So we had 55 40 left over. But I'm going to flick straight down to booze and takeaway. We actually had a couple of takeaways, which justifies the less spent on food there. It was just, if you watched my previous video, it was just a manic weekend, put it that way. Um, a lot of stress going on with the bike and things like that. Um, my work's up in the air at the minute and we're both just like, ah, let's just get a Chinese. So we had a Chinese and we had a family McDonald's, us two and the little one. Um, my big one's away. She's been in Spain with her um, grandparents and her sister. So we spent 51 97 which we didn't have any money for on takeaway, but we had 55 40 left over from food. So it equals out. Petrol, we spent 82 74 A lot of that <coughs> excuse me was my husband on the bike trip and um, needed a lot more than we thought due to breaking down and getting a van and you know the saga if you watch the video we've got 70 pound 26 left home essentials we spent 19 pound 11 we've got 45 89 left we had 50 pound in pets we didn't spend anything we've still got that 50 pound gifts and given we had nothing we spent nothing miscellaneous we had 10 we spent 11.26 that was hospital costs for my husband he had to go for a checkup on his shoulder after his accident from the previous year so that was like parking and he got him and my little one um a breakfast i think while they were there so what we are doing this week is we are stuffing our food money so we're stuffing 125 pound again so 20 40 60 oops 80 125 so 125 going into food for our week three petrol we don't obviously roll over the coins we just roll over the notes so we've got 20 40 60 70 pound in the petrol we're rolling over um home essentials so we have got 20 45 so 45 in home essentials there Pets, we've still got the full 50, or at least we should have. Yep, and there's the 50 in pets. Um, nothing in booze, nothing in takeaways, nothing in gifts or giving. We've already done that. Miscellaneous, we're popping our 10 in. So that's our very small cash stuffing for the week because I am finding sort of a mixture of monthly and weekly working for us at the minute. Kind of like a hybrid, I suppose. I don't know. So that's that. Um... I also want to do stuff Keith. So that's a change from last week. I forgot to do that on my previous video. So we're going to stuff Keith. Oh, I found a pound coin. I put that in my minis. I thought I'd done it all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these 50 pences out and I'm going to put them in the ice cream jar. Um, he's never asked for an ice cream for a while, actually. Probably because he's always playing out somewhere different when the van comes around. So we're going to stuff Keith here. We're not going to count it. We're just going to throw it all in until Keith is full. And then we'll sort it out from there. There we go. I did have some money to put into savings. And I can't remember where I put it. I think it's in my purse. Um, let's put this one pound coined, coined, coin into the minis. Let's just roll this dice and see where we're going to put it. Number three. One, two, three. Rainy day fun. Yes. Finally got that one finished. Ah, oh, yes. Happy days. There we go. Yes, I've finished one of the minis. So we should have 5, 10, 15. We should have 20 pound in here. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right, so that's reallocated. That's not a debt payment. So we are going to reallocate that somewhere. First of all, I need to refill one of the minis. So I've got it like this, so I can't see what's coming. I'm just going to stick my finger in the middle and pull one out. What's that? Bloom Baby Bloom by the Geordie Maker. So we're going to fill, replace that with that. There we go. So we'll pop that in there and we'll start that one next. Now where should we put this? money um i think we'll put a 
the sinking fund. Which one will we do? Let me see. Um, we'll do one of these. Mm. Can't decide, can't decide. I may put in a hair. I need my hair done. I've already got glasses started. Hold me in skincare. Beauty clothes. Yeah, I'm going to put it in here because I would never normally stuff hair. Um, I need a £5 note from somewhere. Let's see if I've got any of the other of these. Let's see. I'll take that one. Got £5 coins in there. There we go. So that's great. Actually getting that started. So that's the whole plan with my minis is one envelope of the minis goes towards debt and one goes towards a sinking fund of my choice. Um, just to kind of give them a little boost so that one's completed so fabulous done that um let me go and get my other savings i had i'm going to find my purse two seconds right i'm back so it was 30 pound i had put aside for savings um where's my savings one here it is so let's see so digital roundup we've done that um, I actually put in, I think, let me just see how much I put it, £9.21 this week, which was quite a high one, but I thought, you know what, while it's there, I'll see if I can do it. I can always take it out again if need be. So 9.21, I'm going to speed this up for this bit. Right, hang on, this is going to get tricky. I can't do that 49 because I've already got a penny gone, so... Let's colour these ones in. I'm going to have to do a little bit of wiggling around the mats here. I love this. This is by Cashbook Cute. So when the crosses go through, you can't really see the numbers, but as soon as you colour them in, the numbers just pop. I don't think you can see that. Um, I'm going to show you. Look. So the numbers just pop back out again once you colour it in. It's great. Right, so we'll try taking four off, and that leaves 46. Can we do that? No. So we'll do... 49 take away no sorry it was 50 50 take away we'll try the 5 and that would leave the 45 yeah we can do that so 5 and 45 so we nearly completed that again for the second time so that's in a digital fund going towards our emergency fund wafting it and it's not laminated I don't need to waft that one <laughs> So, oh, I forgot I had put that money aside as well. So what have I got for savings? I forgot about that. 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75 pound. Right, let's decide where the 75 pound is going. Let's play some games with it. I need a dice. So 75 pound we've got. And we need an eight-sided dice. And let's see where this is going. So number one, the toast challenge. So we've already done one of these. We've already completed that one. Let's put that one away. And we are going to do... We'll do this one. We'll put a £20 in there just to get started. So there we go, we'll put that in the toast challenge. And that is by Soap's Budget and Life, and it is just the cutest challenge in the world. Number two, cheapest chips by Cash But Cute. Right, well, we've got no change, so it's going to be one of the biggies. Well, not biggie, but you know what I mean. Um, we'll do the pie, £5. Let's do a nice orange pie. Oh, I do like a nice pie sometimes. So fattening though, aren't I? I've got to think for pork pies at the minute. I never used to like pork pies at all, but I found Sainsbury's do a gluten-free pork pie. Just like an individual size one. Oh, it's my little guilty pleasure when I'm at work sometimes getting my lunch. <laughs> it's no good for the waistline, but, you know, got to be done sometimes. Number seven. Seven is this one, which is Rafferty Scratch-Off by April's on a Budget in Canada. 
I'll get something to scratch that off with. What will I use to scratch that off with? I'll get me scraper again. So we'll go with this one up here. Okay, that's three. Okay, I'll put a five in and take two out. So take two out and we'll put a five in. And there we go. I love Stephen's challenges. It's so exciting. I'm probably gonna have to empty all these out when we get the bill for the bike. God knows. God knows how much that's gonna cost. <laughs> Just oh well. That awful saying that I hate, it is what it is. Um eight and two. We'll do eight and two in here on the pirate ship and mini carnival. This is by Source Budget and Life as well. So we'll put ten in there. We're just working our way through the little book um, as we get to them. Two. The only reason we can do this this month is we have had a higher pay than normal. If anybody's wondering like how suddenly I can do these things, my husband got a lot of back pay that he was due. Um, that's literally the only reason. Um, we are going to do. Mm. we'll do chips and a sausage sausage and chips so we'll do some yellow chips the worst colouring in the world but I can't be bothered <laughs> to faff on and we'll do a brown sausage actually chip shop sausages tend to be like red don't they so that is £5 going in the cheapest chips again cash book cute i love cash book cute that's why the bows on here i put all my cash book cute trackers in here well not all of them but most of them um can we do another five anywhere no we can do four i could do four and a one so we'll do onion rings and a pickled egg i've never had a pickled egg i don't know if i'd fancy them or not i'm like oh i do like eggs but Pickled egg's going to have to be yellow as well because basically don't have a white pen. <laughs> it wouldn't work anyway. Number five. Three, four, five. Oh, starting this one. This is by April's on a budget as well. Um, a little hedgehog. I did call it a bear on one of my videos. It's actually a hedgehog. Um six that's going to annoy some of you isn't it that I've left some scratch off in there go on tell us if that annoys you the fact I've left some on <laughs> I bet it has it's kind of annoying me as well but I just want their moods I just want to get it done before I get disturbed right so what I've got left I've got £21 left Oops, there we go Number five. Oh, five again. Okay. I should have just left this one out. And we'll just do this one here. Uh, three. Well, hmm. I'll have to scratch another one because I don't have any change. So we'll just scratch another one off. So five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> I still haven't got enough change. We'll do one more. Oh, five again. Five and eight, calculate a time, 13. Right, okay. 13 pound. Can't do. I'm gonna do one more. <laughs> 17 pound. Oh dear me. Tell you what, put 20 in. And we'll take one out. So that's £19. Should we do one more just to see if we've got the 19? No. That was 21, wasn't it? Do you know what? I'll put the extra pound in and we'll make it 21. There we go. <laughs> want to roll with that one. Oh well, we've got a pound left. 
Shall we see where we can put the pound, if anywhere? I don't know if we'll be able to, but we'll see. Number three, fuzzy run. Well, we can't roll the dice, so we'll just have to do a number one. One in the fuzzy run. I think this might end up being a really, really big one, actually. Um, because you have to wait until one line's full. But if you keep doing all the other lines, it's going to end up pretty massive, I think. Right, thank you for that, <laughs> for staying with me. Um, very random, impromptu savings bit. But glad I got that done. As I say, I hope we don't have to empty it out for the bike. But... We'll see. We still haven't had an update yet. It's been in um, the garage for... Um, it'll be a week tomorrow. So, fingers crossed. That's not going to be huge amounts, but we'll, we'll see. We'll cope with it if it is. The money's there in various savings if we do need to. So, I hope it's all doing okay anyway. Um, I'll try and get another video done. I might actually do a cash condensing because some of the savings are getting a little bit high. Um, and it's worth getting them in the bank and getting some interest on them while we can. So if I do do that video, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye.